Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the Shoe Fly Update Show. We are halfway through August. Uh, the temperatures look like they might be giving us a little bit of reprieve this week. We have some rain in the forecast. Even still, we've got some great programming coming at you. It's actually going to be the last week of our cycle here. Street's going to talk a little bit about that, get you updated on some of the other events happening at the gym this week, as well as some birthdays and new faces. So, Street, why don't you kick it off and tell us a little bit about what we can expect for workouts this week. Yeah, so, hey, everybody. Um, way to survive that pretty uh, hot week last week. I think that might be the hottest that, that we've had to go through. So uh, we made it. Yay. It rained a little bit. This week's supposed to be a little bit cooler. So that is awesome. Um, this is our last week in the cycle, like Brad was saying. And we've been doing a lot of pauses. We've been doing a lot of time under tension, all that stuff. And so this week, we're going to find some, some freshish numbers. So we're going to be doing some three reps and five reps. Uh, maxes. And so on Monday, what you can look for is the back squat. Uh, we're going to be working up to a heavy three rep, and that's going to be without any pauses, just standard old um, back squat. Uh, Tuesday, a little fun conditioning uh, workout in place. It's more of muscular endurance than it is uh, cardiovascular, but we're going to be able to move some dumbbells around in a bench press style, so that'll be fun. Wednesday, we are going to deadlift. Um, so that'll kind of be our last heavy day before we get a rest day. And then Friday, we're going to roll into some uh, gymnastics, kind of like we did this past week, did a lot of chest bar, did a lot of toes of bar. Um, so you're going to see that on Friday as well. And then the following week, we will have a true deload week. So that is super exciting. Uh, we haven't had one in a while. So it's been a pretty long cycle. So let's get through this week, finish it nice and strong. And then next week, we get to relax take a little break before we start our next cycle. With Barbell Club, uh, they are not on a deload week, although we did just hit some heavy singles. We had so many people hitting PRs this week. It was awesome. Um, so that was exciting to see. And now we're going to be starting a fresh cycle this week. So not necessarily a deload week, but um, compared to last week and all those heavy percentages, you're not going to see uh, super heavy percentages like that. So it, it could be kind of like a nice little break for you as well. Um, as far as uh, other things around the gym goes, so programming's been going well. Everybody's been working really hard. Uh, the equipment has definitely been taking a beating, uh, but we know that. Uh, the biggest thing that we ask of you guys is just to continue to try and take the best care of the equipment, uh, especially our tinier plates. So like those 10s and those 15s, um, if you do not have to drop that bar, you know, try and set it down nicely or at least drop it from the hip or the knee. Um, we do not want to drop those bars from overhead. So let's continue to try and bring them down nicely. The other thing is with the men's bars, um, we are, you know, continuing to kind of replace those slowly over time. We know that some of them are not in the best shape. One of the things that I ask you guys is just to really pay attention to those men's bars. And if you see any movement on the outside where those sleeves are starting to come loose, do not use that bar. Let a coach know, and that coach will remove that bar out of the rotation and will replace it with a newer bar eventually. Um, so just keep an eye out on those men's bars. They're, they're getting a little older and a little beat up. And so um, just, sorry, my dog's barking. Um, but yeah, so just make sure that you guys are paying attention to those barbells and then hippo it's real real life guys like they haven't barked all morning but now they want to bark so um so anyway so be careful with the equipment um hippo stop i'm gonna blame it on her snake bite she's crazy right now okay so um next up guys is the rowers so i want to talk a little bit about the rowers i just replaced all the um arms on the rowers because they were pretty beat up from going in and out. So I want, um, if you have somebody nearby that can help you carry that rower back in, especially over the threshold of the door, all they have to do is lift it up a little bit so that it doesn't uh, slam into the, the lip of the door. That would be super helpful. We believe that that might be why the rowers are, are kind of getting broken is because they're having to go off road too much. Um, so just grab a buddy and say, Hey, will you help me move this rower inside? And I think that that will remedy the, the issue and that we'll be able to keep those rowers in better condition for longer. 
Um, other than that, I think everything's been going well with um, equipment stuff. We're still cleaning. Um, you guys are doing a great job of that. You know, it's it's a little bit scary, but you know, COVID, the Delta variant is definitely um, here. So one of the things that we want to do is continue to be very responsible as far as uh, making sure we're not um, coming to the gym if we come into contact with somebody who uh, has tested positive for COVID, whether you're vaccinated or not. Um, so that is a huge thing. You know, we're very fortunate. Um, majority of the gym are vaccinated, which is great. Um, but vaccinated people can still get this Delta variant. So if you come into contact with somebody, whether they're in your household or not, we really, really ask you guys to stay home and quarantine and get that negative test. Um, and that negative test should really be um, between like the fifth and the 10th day, uh, just to make sure you don't have it. Um, so quarantining is big time gonna help make sure we don't spread um, COVID around the gym. And we've been us utilizing that outdoor space quite a bit. So, you know, um, the outdoor fitness, it's gonna get better because it's gonna get cooler, which is awesome. Um, I also just, uh, purchased a event tent so we will have a little bit more room outside uh, which is which is really cool um, we'll be able to use that for the shoe fly lift off as well so on our end we ask you guys to continue cleaning uh, just like you have been continue watching out for the other members in the gym so if you uh, feel off one day you know even if you just think it might be allergies just stay home for that day um, if you come into contact with anybody and that you know that they've tested positive for COVID, quarantine, stay away. We'll miss you, but we'll be so thankful that you did that for us. And, um, and then when you get back, we'll get back to our, our regularly programmed fitness. Uh, but those are the biggest things for us. We really appreciate you guys. And we know that you guys watch out for each other and you care a lot about each other. So just continue doing what you've been doing. Yeah, and like Street said, we got the uh, shoe fly liftoff coming up. So we're almost exactly two months away from the liftoff. So if you're thinking about competing, go ahead, grab a buddy. We've got the male, male, female, female, male, female pairs, all different divisions, scaled, intermediate, RX. If you're unsure of what division to sign up for, ask a coach. They'd be happy to help. The early bird registration is going to expire on September 1st. So you have about two weeks to sign up to get that early bird rate. After that, the rate will jump. And all of us on the planning side are putting a lot of things in place to try and create a really, really great experience for anyone who signs up for the event. Um, from the stuff you get just for signing up to our podium prizes some fun workouts Street and I tested one this past week, and we'll probably be releasing that workout this upcoming week. So you can get a taste of what at least one of the events will be, which will be really fun. And for the shoe fly liftoff, if you are not interested in competing, but you still want to help out, we're gonna be looking to get all the volunteers we can. There are a lot of behind the scenes, uh, things going on that help make the event run smoothly from judging, to helping clean up the equipment, to helping make sure the athletes know where they're supposed to be and when they're supposed to be there. A lot of different volunteers are gonna be needed. So if you're free on October 16th and you wanna come out and help support the Shoe Fly Liftoff, uh, put that date on your calendar so you can reserve it and come out and volunteer for either part of the day or the whole day, it'll be fun. You'll get a t-shirt out of it too, which is always a nice little extra. So shoe fly liftoff is coming up very, very soon. Uh, continue to put that on your calendar, share it with your friends, sign up to be a volunteer or an athlete. Beyond that, we've got a couple birthdays coming up this week. Uh, the first one is Brenna. Brenna celebrating her birthday this week, as well as Brianna celebrating her birthday. So if you get a chance to see Brenna or Brianna this week, be sure to wish them a happy birthday. And for new faces, uh, we have one new face who signed up to become a member, and that is Shannon Douglas. Probably seen her in some of the evening classes as well as some of the Barbell Club classes. So it's been great having her as a member of our gym, and we look forward to continuing to work with her. And so with all of us here at CrossFit Shoe Fly, that's all the updates we've got for this upcoming week of August 15th. We look forward to seeing all of you at the gym 
as we get the chance to battle the rain and the, some cloudiness this week, but still get a lot of good fitness in. So with that, let's have a great week and we look forward to seeing you soon. Bye everybody.